All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 12 of One Piece, which is called Clash with the Black Cat Pirates. The Great, let's see, Battle on the Slope. <laughs> My Crunchyroll wasn't showing it for a second there, but yeah, guys, the pirates really are coming, right? That's actually the fascinating little difference, I feel, when it comes to the anime compared to the live action version, is that, um, well, in the live action version, you know, Yusuf was going around town basically saying, the pirates are here, the pirates are here, mostly referring, of course, to just Kuro himself. Uh, whereas here we've got an actual army literally coming our way apparently right and that's what we're going to be defending hopefully the town from i don't know if luffy and his guys are going to be enough to be able to put a stop to it though so we'll have to of course wait and see about that um and yeah i mean that's that's the thing there really are some subtle differences here once again of course there's Django the hypnotist that we got introduced to who's a whole new character that i hadn't seen whatsoever and i will say that I love his uh, Michael Jackson move so far. <laughs> uh, there is the way that everything is playing out, therefore, uh, slightly differently. I mean, I think especially the scene that grabbed me the most is seeing how far Yusuf was kind of willing to take his lying by essentially starting to lie to himself and to all the others around him saying like, oh yeah, guys, you know what? You're right. There are no pirates coming. This and that, like it was some kind of fucking coping strategy or whatever, right? Because I, I mean, I have no idea what else he tried. He would have tried to pursue by doing that, right? That's essentially him just giving up, right? Because he knew that they were going to be coming, and I mean, you know, convincing them that no threat is imminent is literally not going to do jack shit. It ain't going to help anybody, right? So, what was that about? I can only really see it as like a coping mechanism or a way for him to basically just lie to himself, and it shows you how caught up. He has honestly been in his lying this entire time. And it makes it all the more awesome, actually, when, of course, the crew basically tells him, like, okay, we do feel like uh, you you have honor. You are honorable to some degree. It's just obviously that he has his issues and uh, he needs to work on those. And I don't know really if there is, like, a... There is going to be a process. I mean, maybe during this arc, there will be kind of a process for him to start realizing that, like, telling the truth is always the best thing to do or something, right? Maybe it's something that's actually going to keep coming back even after this arc. We didn't really see it anymore in the live action series, I will say. So, you know, I'm just honestly not sure. But again, that's where the anime can obviously provide some additional depth again or something, right? That, um, yeah, maybe the live action show didn't have. I don't know. I, I All that I can really observe so far is that there are plenty of little details that the anime did decide to uh, add. Or, well, decide. You get what I'm saying, right? That the live action series rather decided to leave out instead and that the anime included and that's just why i find it such a an awesome thing that i still get to watch this now and still feel like um you know certain elements i just don't see them coming whatsoever and that's super cool because it makes it worth it to actually go through this story that i've technically already seen play out of course so with that being said guys we are going to dive into this new episode of course if you enjoy my reactions to one piece you will be able to get early access to the next 24 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. Full length reactions are, of course, going to be up there too. If you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety with clean audio, by the way, unfiltered, because unfortunately I do have to apply quite some strict, uh, you know, filters here and there and change the audio a little bit to uh, avoid copyright over on YouTube. So make sure you go and check out, of course, the Patreon. You can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next four episodes already right now as well. But with that being said, let's dive into this new episode. Oh, God. Here comes the creep again. Oh, shit. Is this going to be them arriving? That tidal wave right now seems to indicate it. Daybreak. Oh, oh, they got to pass this. Oh, that's perfect because it gives you a vantage point. That's honestly a super strategic place. Certain character in the Vinland Saga definitely found out. <laughs> Cut, stretch, steal. <laughs> I bet you can. My man, I thought you wanted to be a hero. A great pirate captain. I mean, you would hope that Kaya at least, you know, 
she's going to remember those words that were spoken to her and she's going to keep it in mind as a scenario, right? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is this when Mary dies? Oh, shit. Who left this package here? From her to you? It's your third year at this mansion? Well, that's kind of convenient. A sort of commemoration? New glasses? Custom ordered? What is that about, to be fair? Is it to... How will she find out through this whether he could, in fact, be a pirate? Oh my god. Oh my god, Mary is about to find out, man. Holy shit! Oh yeah, dude is definitely revealing his true identity here. I'll be accepting a present. Okay, this is it. And this is step one. Just like we saw, dude. Wow, he tried to scream to Kaya to warn her, man. In his final moments, you fucking hate to see it. Jesus Christ. Look how bloody those knives are. But he, like, still needed her to sign or something, I think, right? Obviously, he can't kill her now, otherwise, she'd be screwed. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Holy shit. This scene is everlasting. The silence. Could she hear any of that? Oh my god. Man, they really are coming from, like, his fingernails, right? Fucking Wolverine. That's what I call them already, I think, in a live action. I wonder why he didn't just go ahead and do it then. What was this? What was the point of fucking showing up to a room like that? Just to give us a 10 scene, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, here he comes in, moonwalking again. With an actual crescent moon. In the sky. A bad mood. He's always like this, though. Top spin. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> yeah, like he's the confusing one. You were looking at it at the back of his head. What the fuck? Oh god. Mmm. We're gonna put the place on fire? Oh, it's just mud. Okay, I thought it was gonna be something like gasoline or whatever. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, oil. Again, I mean, you can put oil on fire though, right? Yeah, you better not get past it yourself. I mean, I guess that's what Yusuf is kind of going to be for, is like... The person that will set up the traps, for the most part. Not that we've seen him do that more often, though, in the live-action series yet, but... Still trying to kind of figure out whether we're going to find out more of their character traits over here in anime. Jesus. Look at that front piece they have. That's what I honestly did love about the show so far, is like all the different ship designs and how they have their own identity, their own flags, obviously, but also just the literal custom pieces made for it. Two strange boats. That's just ours. When we arrived there, right? I mean... 
Yeah, I don't know. Could they have set up any trap there too? Is that the other side? Yeah, that better be, like, not be coming from a different side than you expected them from, though. Nah, it's probably gonna be alright, right? Oh my god, yo! Usopp, you are kidding me! This is where they had that secret meeting, so I just assumed. Okay, this is all fucked now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what she's worried about. They actually didn't bother, that's the funny thing. Yeah. You'll be alright, Nami. Oh my god, you did not just... Yo, you guys are literally gonna be screwed. Oh my god. Are they both gonna go? Oh shit. Just leaving him behind like that? Really? I mean, is this kind of the equivalent of Zoro also getting separated from the rest? Before, right, in a live action show when he was thrown into the well? I don't know, that's what I'm, like, equating it to, but... I think I'm making too many comparisons when clearly things are playing out much differently here. It doesn't matter much, because, like, Zoro's still reunited with Luffy, I think, in the mansion, right? Okay. Well, at least he made it in time. I'm kind of surprised by that, not gonna lie. Tatakai. Let's go. I'm down for it. Yeah, you better get your buddies to show up soon too, though. Yeah. <laughs> You got the Zora, come on, man. You're the biggest badass I know. I ran in a coldish direction? The hell is that supposed to mean? Uh, I don't know if he can pull it off on his own, though. My 100 million crewmen. Yeah, you're standing here alone, though. It's a little hard to believe. <laughs> It's the one thing he's very good at, lying. Look at his nose. Yo, do we still got some of that oil left, maybe? If only it took that with him. Oh, shit. Okay, they did go and investigate it. Five million berries. You know, the best thing you could have done now is actually turn back straight away. Just claim this treasure. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. I don't know if this plan is going to work, though. Even if I know things are going to be alright in the end, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking, honestly. Oh god, no. Please tell me somehow his glasses are gonna prevent him. Oh. Why the fuck would you hit him like that, though? Oh, she's gonna be your worst enemy. Hypnotize yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah, she is so driven. She needs that money. Oh, that's what you overheard him say, huh? Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. I mean, he knows that, right? He was there with Luffy. 
指揮を取る。打ちのめせ。俺は援護する。<laughs> You're the trained soldier, Nami. Oh, shit. Okay, well, never mind. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess you're both losers then. <laughs> yeah, no, she's. I will say she's usually more about the stealthy approach, not the upfront combat. But that's why you should have helped Zoro out, Nami. Oh, boy. Yeah, like our two actual biggest warriors are missing right now. Oh, this is the other side again. Zoro, my man. My man, my man. He is just not getting lucky here. Ooh, that's a good strategy. Oh, shit. Okay. Kept up the momentum. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Luffy, the first thing you should buy after this mission is a compass. Special attack lead star. Dude, I love how they all announce their attacks with special names. Typical anime thing, but it's so funny. <laughs> oh shit. How? I was gonna say, how the fuck did that happen? Oh shit! Yo, Usopp, watch out! Oh my god! Damn! Hey, that was a fucking tough hit, though. Oh, he's grabbing on, nonetheless. Is this gonna be his first step towards a uh, warrior dumb? I can't have you go there. Yep. Mm. They're not even gonna know that you were here. Oh shit! Okay, Nami! Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, are we really gonna have a fight at the village? I wonder what's gonna happen with all the innocent people living there. How are we gonna put a stop to this? That's what I was wondering already. Surely our guys aren't enough, though. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, actually... Never mind. Maybe they are. Who just did this, though? Was this Luffy's doing? Was it Zoro? Guys like them. Oh, it was the both of them. It was the both of them. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? Maybe our crew can actually handle this. As long as we got our two best members here. Most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was less of a mistake on his end, I feel, but... Oh, my God. My man is waiting at the gates. Damn. I'll slaughter them all personally, huh? I don't know what that's what good is that is going to do, but what the fuck is he carrying in this bag, by the way? Are those gonna I don't know what that's about. I mean, I still don't really know how his swords work, if he can just always unleash his nails like that. Oh yeah. Maybe start considering that Usopp was in fact uh, telling you all the truth. 
All right, guys. Well, anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next 24 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next four episodes already right now. So I'll see you there.